nobody knew. Uh, be on the air. Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. I'm starting to get better at my rendition. Bugs and it might have to cut me a chizak, man. I done made that shit hot again. I done made that shit hot again. Anthony, the anthology. Make sure you get that PA net. You know what I mean? That disco shit. Got a reverse out of BC on you niggas. Good morning. Peace. Karis Bourdain in the building. Your host. He said, I'm here early. Y'all was waiting on me. He said, I knew he was coming. Y'all was waiting on me. Flipper. Peace to you, black man. You and Jermaine Champagne. We seen y'all interview last night. Um... He said, your hat, your hat dribble is impeccable. Go on and join in, man, y'all. I know y'all ain't gonna just let me keep styling on y'all like this, man. Go to the website, get right, man. It's right there. Jermaine Champagne. Uh, your name is Jermaine Champagne, G. That's the only way we gonna re-accept you as Jermaine Champagne. I see you starting to say Chano. You trying to, you trying to join in on the Troy Ave joke. I seen you put Chano in... Um, your recent post, your music video with Dice Peso. Stop ruining people's music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Stop ruining songs with your beefs, man. You put your YouTube beefs and taking shots at YouTubers and shit on your songs, man. Fucking up your songs, man. That ain't the criteria you need to... People want to buy lifestyle, my nigga. Southside Ice. Peace. People want to... People want to buy lifestyle. You dig? Uh, he said, respectfully, Dice is Trizash. Jermaine Champagne, he said, you started this. Jermaine Champagne said people were chewing at him for the last two years. I believe he was talking about Snow Billy. Uh, I seen in the comments, Ulitz Bay Adi Gay, he says, yeah, he was talking about me, Hassan, and Snow Billy. Wasn't nobody talking about your irrelevant ass, nigga. You was on a recording with him, Dick. You was on a you was on a recording with him, jocking him. Right? Amen. Amen. You know my cousin. A amen. Amen. That's you. So don't try, don't try to switch up, man. Don't try to switch up, uh, little nigga. Anyway. Y'all come in here, like the video as y'all come in here and subscribe. He said he ate, he ate the fuck up. Did y'all see the, um, did y'all see the video? Did y'all see the interview? Queen's Flip. Queen's Flip is, he's doing his best, man. He's doing his best. When somebody give you some rhythm, customarily, when somebody give you some rhythm, some, um, you know, somebody get on your show and shit like that, they're internet protected after that. You feel me? Y'all see how I come to Mark Curry's uh, aid and shit like that? You're internet protected. Once you once you get down with somebody's platform, you're internet protected. I understand that part. Flip, I understand that part. You standing in there with them niggas. You trying. <laughs> I see you. I see. Flip, I see you. You standing in there with them niggas. But listen, right? Flip, your coverage was biased, man. Your coverage was terribly biased. Your coverage was biased, man. You didn't give people anything good, man. People wanted to know why he had that chain for all of that time, why he kept that chain for seven years, years and shit. People wanted to know about that, why he kept that chain for seven years. Why didn't he return the chain? You didn't get at none of those issues. You didn't. You just like, it was like you, you gave him, um, you offered him your, your platform, to uh, insinuate that people posseing up on him. He said they gaining up on him. You said Voltron. That's not the truth. That's not the truth. 
Jermaine has had some conflicts over the years, man. He had an issue with Snow Billy. Uh, my incident with him, Flip, is involving you. Let me make a confession here. My incident with uh, Jermaine Champagne, it's funny that you guys are still mingling. Because, Flip, and hey, Flip, you should send me a bottle. You should send me a bottle. You should go to the website and buy several knits. I put him on your couch. This is how it happened. This is the truth. This is the truth. Mano went on Queen's Flip to spite me. He did. He went on Queen's Flip to spite me. But let me tell you how it all started. Mano and Queen's Flip was on live one day. They was on live and shit, right? Queen's Flip diplomatically asked this nigga for an interview. He was asking him and Jim to come. No, Jim wasn't around. But he was asking certain people for, for, for interviews. The same shit situation that I've been in, right? He was asking Maine for an interview. And Maino was playing with him. Playing with him, man. Like, you know, half-assed. He was doing the Maino shit to him, but he started to, like, play with him a little bit. But all in all, he wasn't getting on his show, period. He wasn't getting on his show at all. At all. Right? So, boom. I said to myself, me watching this, right? I said to myself, oh, yeah, Flip was asking him to come through, and Mano was spinning him, playing with him. Ain't nothing up. He was doing the Hollywood shit to him. He was doing the Hollywood shit to him, right? Because he's in the Tupac movie now and shit. Like, he, he got bitter, bigger than us, the DVD guys. He got bigger than us, right? So, boom, I say to myself, I've interviewed him before. I've interviewed Mano before. I said, let me put him, him on... Um, I said, let me, get in, let me get in contact with him to get him on Gully TV. I can get him over Queen's Flip. This is what I said to myself. Because I had him before, right? Them niggas don't answer no emails, no tweets, no messages on IG. They, not, the professional route of getting these niggas' attention, they don't adhere to it. They, 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 it just don't work, right? Boom. Snow Billy comes along. Snow Billy's poking at him, poking the bear, poking the bear. This is something that has never happened before. Never, ever happened before, right? I'm noticing the shit that Snow Billy is saying is very, very severe, like very outwardly disrespectful. Shit that would get you choked normally. This will get you a mano choke, right? This situation will get you a main old choke. Get you choked and slapped. The hand of God put on you. This is what he used to say. But he wasn't approaching Snow Billy like that. So I'm like, damn. I said, I got an idea. I got on live. And I did a, vi I did a live stream. And I said, it seemed like Snow Billy got something on Mano. Mano don't want none of, none of Snow Billy. I said something like that, right? I know that it's going to get back to Mano right away. This nigga was in my Instagram inbox within five minutes. Bear trap set. Bear, the bear caught. Boom. He said, yo. He gave me his number immediately. Everything that I needed already, he gave it to me. Gave, his, gave me his number. He like, yo. Uh, we we can go live. He said, yo, let's go live. And, you know, da 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 I'm like, saying to myself, nigga, you're not about to do that main old shit on my platform. We got to record it. Give me your number and you can call me. And I'll record, you know, I'm going to record this shit. Your performance, this, this shit that you're about to do, I'm going to record it. I recorded him. He did his main old shit. He was talking crazy. Talking crazy, right? Boom. I edited it up. I took... I, like I said, I edited it. I took certain things out of, out of it that I would deem as disrespectful. But I let him go because I'm recording it. I'm not interfering with him disrespecting me. But I'm not going to put it on my platform. I took it out. I uploaded it. Boom. I got what I needed out of you. 
I have I got what I needed out of you, pimp. I got what I needed out of you. Uploaded it. And I went to Dubai. I went to Dubai. I let that shit cook and I went to Dubai. I flew overseas and I watched that shit cook from um from overseas and shit. One of the things that Mano said to me when we spoke on the phone, right? He asked me, you know, because we had a conversation. Before the recording, before the recording, we had a brief conversation. And he said this to me. He said, yo, we got to clear this up. You know, he's like, you can't just be, you know, he, he said, you can't, you know, just be saying anything with my name. He said, you can't just be saying anything with my name because people going to believe you. He said, people going to believe you. He said, people believe you. He said, you real. He said, you the realest nigga doing this shit. The shit that come out your mouth, people believe. He said, Queens Flip, that's jokes. He said, that nigga, that's, that's some joke shit. Like, that, don't, that shit ain't nothing. He said, but you, you the realest nigga doing this shit. I swear. This is what he said, right? Couple weeks later, don't you know this nigga go and get on Queen's Flip? <laughs> Couple weeks later, don't you know this man go get on Queen's Flip? At which point, he starts taking subliminal shots at me. I'm like, okay. Now it's no decency, right? Now it's no decency because after we got off the phone, we was cool. We was cool. We agreed to do a video together. He let me record him. And then I uploaded his, I think, Biggie Freestyle, the Biggie Freestyle. It's on his channel. You can look on his channel. There's Mano music videos on his channel. He sent it to me. I uploaded it. We good. This is how a media outlet function. I'm, you know, he like, bet. Go on Queen's Flip, start taking uh, shots at me. I'm like, okay, cool. So now there's no decency. Now there's no decency. Because let's, let's get to this part, my nigga. I ain't Young Berg. I ain't none of them niggas. You done already got my rep. You, you, been, you, in, you in New York City. You done ask niggas that's, that know me who done been in my presence and shit like that. You already got my rap sheet. You already know. I ain't talking about no criminal shit. I'm talking about me. You already know what's up. So, uh, I went straight, I went straight to, you, you know, don't, don't play with me, my nigga. Like, you ain't, I went straight to that, because that's how you got to do a nigga like that. You got to go straight to the, because he don't understand nothing else, because he's fucking playing around. And in the midst of this, I'm, I encounter Boxing Bar. I encounter Box and Bar, and I uh, I interviewed Box and Bar from Rikers Island. He told his story, and this was one of many, one of many. Um, I don't know. I guess you could say attacks on his character and shit, lodged from my platform. Last night, Queens Flip asked you. Who you like, you know what I'm saying? Who you like on YouTube? Who you know? Who you think the shit? Who you fuck with? You ain't say my name. You ain't say my name. You ain't say my name. You need to tell the truth. You need to tell the truth. You said zip with the drip, right? If you says if you said zip with the drip, you fuck with Gully TV, my nigga. If you said Zip with the Drip, because I heard you say it, you fuck with Gully TV. And if you in tune with Zip with the Drip, why ain't you had him on Kitchen Talk? He an MC on the rise out of Queens. Why ain't you had him on Kitchen Talk? If you fuck with it. If you fuck with it. You and Queens Flip last night. Y'all kept, uh, y'all continued the conversation and y'all didn't want to put no names on it. Y'all didn't want to put no names on it. But your battle ain't with me, my nigga. Your battle ain't with me. 
Don't try to act like YouTube did this to you. Don't try to act like YouTubers did this to you. We didn't. You stole that chain. That's what gave people proof that you a dirt bag and you a bum. You stole that chain. When you stole that chain, it just exposed everything about you. Because you used to talk on the phone with Troy Ave. You used to be on, um, you did music with him. You made a post that they have it. They have it, the post. I think it was maybe from like, I don't know, 2015 or something like that. When you were speaking about uh, the alliance, Brooklyn this and Brooklyn that, and it's always been love between me and Troy. If, if, you, if that's how you feel, when this chain hit the floor, why didn't you return it? You didn't. You didn't return it. You didn't. Whether it was real or it was fake, you were supposed to return it. The next day, you pilfered that chain. And everybody know you pilfered it. And when you did that, that's a reflection of your character. Because people who are fortunate won't give up their blessings for some shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? That wasn't a stranger that you was getting that chain off of. That, that that chain came from, that wasn't a stranger. A person that's fortunate ain't going to give up their blessings, ain't going to bring no bad karma around them for something petty like that. You could lose a Lamborghini trying to steal somebody's chain. You feel me? I'm just talking about someone that you know. That was just a dirty, dirty gesture, and it's a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of who you are. Now, you take that with the fact that you double-cross your connect. <laughs> you double-cross your connect. You feel me? Like... This is an ongoing, you ain't no good. You ain't no good. And it's out there. And I didn't, I didn't put on this display. You stole that chain. Last night, you stressed that you was the last person at Irvin Plaza. I didn't leave my girl. I was the last person there. The whole time you was there, you had that chain. You had that stolen chain, my nigga. You thought you was, thought you hit a lick. We know what jewelry feel like in your pocket and shit. And you know how you feel if you, you know, might have got away with it. I didn't got away with, with a chain. You know what I'm saying? I didn't got away with a piece of jewelry. You know what I'm saying? You thought you was, you thought it was on. Now, uh, the fact that you kept it for seven years, why would you keep it for seven years? In your video, your ill-advised video, you said you kept it in case, in case Troy Ave ever got uppity or some shit like that. You, that's that's why you said you kept it. <laughs> you just have all sorts of bad intentions, man. You got all sorts of bad intentions all, all, all over you, all over you. Don't nobody have to do anything to your character. You did it yourself. You did it yourself. You a double crosser. You a thief. And you ain't the greatest musician in the world. That's it. You feel me? Um, you the same guy who you pulled your gun on, you, you wait, flashed your gun at on, on Bunky, Bunky SA. You could have dealt with him by yourself, but you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. Bunky a big dude and shit. You pull every all of the dirt bag shit, man. Like if you got if you got the numbers, you gonna get busy. If it's if the numbers is even or different, you not. Um, ain't nobody even approaching you in this instance. Ain't nobody even approaching you um, aggressively. This is what's being said. You stole the chain, right? And the truth is, if you didn't get close to Jim Jones, if you didn't get close to, you know, Jim Jones, you would have been long irrelevant, man. You would have been, you would have been locked up like Frenchie. From Brick Squad, you would have been did, done did some shit like that. That would have been your next move. You know how niggas get when they get, you know, when it ain't working. It's big, nice from the Lost Boys, like Cool C, Steady B. That was your next step, doing some shit like that. We all know that. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is, Troy Ab did to you the same thing 50 Cent did the, did the Ja Rule. He did it. He did it. He did it. The same thing that 
50 Cent did to Ja Rule. He did it to you. He did it to you. He did it to you. And let's talk about the fact that you had on the sunglasses last night. Why did you do that interview with sunglasses on with your hood on? Looking like a fucking spy and shit. What are you what are you hiding? You didn't look transparent to us. You look like you were hiding. We want to look at you. We want to see your expressions and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Why you got on sunglasses doing an interview? Since when did you do that? Have y'all ever seen him indoors doing an interview with sunglasses on? The eyes are the window to the soul. Exactly. He said, they say when you wear sunglasses in an interview, you're trying to hide your lying eyes. Exactly. He looked just like the Unabomber. He did. He said, hell no, Gully. Mano was never hot as Ja Rule. I'm just saying the shit that he did to him. But Queen Slip, uh, you got to do better, my nigga. Like, you got to do better. You on there. I can't say nothing about you, what you did last night. It was honorable to stand next to him. But... What do you have? You didn't reveal anything. All you did was you offered him your, your, your stage to talk about what's going on on YouTube, but it's of his creation. He didn't talk about the theft. You didn't talk about the pilfering and shit. You didn't talk about your motive for pilfering. You didn't. You were super biased, my nigga. That wasn't no good interview. What, what was that? What was that? Y'all talking about some, I don't want to say these guys' names. Mano, what you mean you don't want to say any names? You in my comments on Instagram. You're in my comments on Instagram with smiling emojis. But now you don't want to say my name? You don't want to say my name? The truth is this. We getting busy. We doing hip hop. We selling merchandise. We getting busy. And you wasn't nothing but a troublemaker. You you put emphasis on being that. You put emphasis on being that. And at the end of the day, don't nobody fuck with niggas like that, man. Don't nobody fuck with niggas like that. That's just it. All of a sudden, he want to interview with Flip. Yeah. All of a sudden, you want to interview Hey, Flip, man, get your money, my nigga. Get your money. Let's clap it up for Queen's Flip. That was terrible defense, Queen's Flip. That was terrible defense. <laughs> hey, yo, that was terrible defense. And let this be a lesson, Jermaine. Let this be a lesson. Had you been... Had you been had you been doing your your proper due diligence by by black media, you wouldn't just have Queens Flip standing with you. You probably have Dog, Doggy Diamonds would probably be standing with you, but you don't fuck with him. You feel me? You ain't got nobody but Queens Flip. I mean, let this be a lesson to you y'all guys who be you know trying to act funny with y'all be trying to act funny with the media situations and shit y'all come out with projects y'all don't want to send them to us y'all don't want them us to promote you know all of the shit remember that remember that when the weight of the world get on your ass by way of this internet this is a great example Mano ran the queen's flip for help flip told him you brought this on yourself he did tell him that did y'all hear him say that? Y'all heard him say that, right? He said he think he used a flip. Flip really using him. <laughs> Do you hear what I said, man? Hey, Flip. He talking now, ain't he? he, he hey, he talking now. He talking now. Why you ain't been on, why you ain't been on Queen's Flip sitting down? <laughs> Now you want to talk. He said, fl facts, Flip really using. Like the videos, 800 people here. Good morning to everybody. 
Make sure y'all go check out Queen's Flip of uh, his masterpiece Dud interview with Jermaine Champagne. He said his eyeballs are popping out. He said, I ain't never seen dude wear a hat now he looking like the Unabomber. Indoors, why'd he have on a hood and his glasses on indoors? Didn't that look phony? He said, Flip gonna interview him like 10 more times. He should. He should. Queens Flip, we need to clean up on aisle two. <laughs> Y'all like the video. Good morning. Capadonna said on my platform... It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Try being nice. Make 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 this a, a a reference, a reference, a reference piece. Jermaine Champagne. He said, "Push a T wash and the whole dip set." No, he ain't. Act like he didn't want to say anybody. He said he was talking directly to you for sure. You saw Vlad going hard at Troy Ave. Vlad ain't one of us, man. What he say out of his mouth, it don't mean nothing. Um, when you see him and academics together, they just getting some money. Y'all, are you entertained? Are you entertained? We don't prefer uh, Vlad over Troy Ave. We don't. Pillmatic available on all streaming sites. He said he tried to beef with Pap, whose Pap wasn't going. Subscribe to the channel. Good morning, everybody. Make sure y'all go see that failed interview. That was a. That was a. <laughs> I don't know. Damage control. He said, flip a lobby, boy, BD, no chain, no fake. My son is putting up a fight. Mano is putting out terrible raps. Ter oh, yeah, let me address this for one minute. I be seeing a lot of y'all that, that follow, follow me. It's cool. It's cool. You can do what you want. But I see a lot of y'all that follow me. I be seeing y'all under Mano music videos, man, like, yo, fire and all that. Don't do that, man. Y'all don't got to do that to fit in, yo. The, the, the support, the music, the Instagram support is tremendous. But they not listening to that shit because the numbers don't reflect it. But I be seeing this shit y'all be doing, man. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what y'all be looking for, man. I seen it with my own eyes, man. A lot of y'all to be here and shit. And y'all know that shit ain't no good. They don't, don't go on IG and shit. You'll see niggas like, oh, fire and shit. Like, like, man, you serious, man? Don't do that, yo. Don't do that. He said, roast session and season. His music ain't no good and shit. It ain't. He, um... He was a DVD. He was a DVD act, a DVD artist. He was good for DVDs. He was graphic. He had a scar on his face. He had a jail reputation. You know, all of that. He was great for DVDs and shit. But 50 Cent said it himself, that real nigga shit, that shit don't work in the music business and shit. People turned off by it and shit. He got a park him and shit. He ain't no good. He said DVD image. Yeah. He said he was Tupac before. Yeah, remember he used to be wearing the black uh the black bandana on the side of his head. It's over with. You gotta figure something else out. Figure something else out. Man, you said you like zip with the drip. Why don't you tell him? Well, you told us all, but Zip with, zip around, zip get busy, man. Zip got albums out and shit. Put him on Kitchen Talk. You got to pass the rock, man. You ain't no good, man. 
Why I want you around, man? I saw you got his queen slip. That's it. He said, yeah, he do his podcast, not even working. He went on uh, Queen Slip the first time. When I say he was taking shots at me, he went on there talking about YouTubers. And then he became one. Ain't that funny? All of these niggas, they be saying, you internet niggas. Remember Tony Yale on Mav Hoffa? You internet niggas. You internet niggas. And then they become one. And then they become one. That's crazy, ain't it? <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's crazy. Y'all need to stop doing that, man. Mano. UPS, my nigga. UPS. Or you can Uber or some shit. He said they are YouTubers now. Yeah, how about that? What do y'all think about that? They wanted to be in our shoes the whole time. They said, man, them niggas getting busy. Niggas getting busy. I can do that. No, y'all can't. <laughs> no, y'all can't. No, y'all can't. We see uh, one podcast after another crash. I love seeing podcasts crash and shit. I love it. They should start putting the audio from car crashes. They should start playing that shit. Word. He said, love your content. I appreciate you. Make sure y'all go check out the new video I got with Frio. Dope ass freestyle and shit. Announcing the, the new season of, of, of Gully TV. Trav said Yale yeah, was selling weed in the hood after the unit run his money dried up. Some rappers are stuck in the air with no creativity. Instead of trying to do something different and new, they try to recreate. I think it helps to be different. Everybody is different. So be different and shit. People might be attracted to the dynamic side of you as opposed to trying to, you know, repeat somebody's, some shit you didn't gather from somebody else's character and shit. He said, T Tony Yale was Vlad, New Lord, Jamar. Vlad got a machine over there and shit. All of these niggas getting Vlad money and shit. He said, them dudes pathetic. He said he looking for a ghostwriter. A ghostwriter can't save him. His image is damaged. Don't you understand when somebody's image is damaged? It'd be fucked up for a minute. What's the nigga name? The nigga that he smacked, he had to change his name. Youngberg? Ain't no Youngberg no more. His name is, what's his name? Hitmaker. His name is Hit. He smacked a new identity out of that nigga. He said, Rock Marcy, the man, period. Shout out to Rock and uh, Knowledge the Pirate. I got a dope two-part interview with him on his channel. Come, come here and get your hip-hop together. Come here and get your hip-hop. Fill your cup. He said he need a life jacket. He said, what I miss? Queens Flip did an interview last night trying to protect Mano's image. Mano had on sunglasses because he don't want to face us in a hood. During this interview, he was um, implying that there's a internet mob smear campaign created, lodged against him. Queens Flip told him, you started all of this. Didn't he tell him that? He, tell, he told him that, right? He told him that, right? He said, at no time have I ever said I was a gangster. You ain't ever said you was a gangster, Mano. 
Come on, man. Don't you know that you on camera, man? Don't you know we will go get some video footage of you saying that you a gangster, man? You from, you said it the whole time. You a gangster. You know. Trying to hate on Troy Ave backfired. If you would have stuck to the Brooklyn, the cohesion, the team spirit, if you was really about that, I told you basketball is a team sport. If you was about that, you would have stayed in alliance with Troy Ave and shit. You would have... Tax Stone bought that. He killed somebody. Da, 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 da. You got on here talking about some of them niggas came to the to the Urban Plaza with that energy. They was bullying. Da, da. You chose a side. And the worst thing that you did, if there's one thing that you wish you could take back, it was doing that interview in that car, pulling that chain out. You didn't think that all the way through. You didn't think that all the way through. You thought you was killing it. You thought you was killing it, man. You had your glasses on then, too. You thought you was killing it, my nigga. You said, yeah, we kept it cold. <laughs> you thought you was killing it. That 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 20 minute video, whatever that was, that shit killed your career. That shit killed what was left of your career. The lobby boys don't look good. Jim don't look good next to you. <laughs> he don't. <clears throat> Jim don't look good next to you. Don't nobody even look good. They just had a, I think it was, what they call it? Fit Lit, Fabulous Davies, Jim Jones, and then they got Maine at the end. He said, YouTubers just finishing the job. Troy Ave blew his wig off. He did. He did. That Rod Digg shit, I didn't create that shit. That shit come from New York. New York nigga created that shit. That shit was brought to the internet from New York. I don't know whether it happened or not. You said that y'all was cool. But it's been our experience. We can't believe you. We can't believe you. Because you was allegedly cool with Troy Ave. We can't believe you. Nothing that you said about Rod Diggs. We can't believe you. We can't. Go to my website. TheRealDribble.com. Go get you a PA net, man. All season fly shit. Let me do my out of BC. Boom. Yeah. He said, y'all about to get me fired from my job. Laugh, and he said Rod Diggs had him under pressure. He said the Fit Lip album is almost done. Y'all checking for y'all checking for Fit Lit. Y'all checking for Fit Lit? That chain was his downside. But I really can't believe him or Troy Ave. Troy Ave is showing you that he a hustler. You actually see the fruits of his labor. You see his networking skills. God, God is great, paper straight. You ain't with that? You ain't with that? Gotta get your dribble right, man. If you ain't with that, go to my website. Word up. He said, you putting Pillmatic on vinyl. I'm working on it, man. Working on it. He said, nobody beat up my brother in the studio. He said, why hold the chain for seven years? We ain't going to get an explanation for it. It's just the type of person he is and shit. Uh, he said that, according to Troy, he was in a Toyota. He was driving a Toyota Avalon. A nigga that's in an Avalon ain't going to have no, no, no heavy jewelry. He not. He ain't got it. He don't. What would what would Mano get some what would what would get some money from? He said in that old bucket that was a sob. I had several sobs. Bum. Appreciate my book. I put it up there with all my other great autobiographies. But I need the real dribble bio. I'm working on the Jamar. Appreciate you.
Troy Ave made a, a bad move by whack, messing with WAC 100. Your enemy is my enemy, and, and, and you know what I'm saying? Your enemy is my enemy. That's how that works out. So Troy Ave ain't going to show no decency when dealing with that nigga. He, he dealing as, as an independent entirely. So he don't care. As far as WAC 100, last night, WAC 100, or oh, yesterday, he said he's he's piecing every all of his beefs with the East Coast. He said he's piecing all of his beefs with the East Coast with Mano and Bobby Shimurda. He he had a list of niggas. He he's he's piecing it with y'all now. He said New York hate on each other anyway. Troy Ave is a boss. It's a thousand people here. Y'all get the likes up to like five hundred. Good morning. Share this video on Twitter. Let them know the dribble, Aaron. 50 Cent got blackballed by East Coast rappers. Never. Wack ran through New York. That's what it's looking like. He's definitely doing what the fuck he want. They embraced him, though. When Wack and uh, Big U came to the East Coast, they embraced him. You bought that. He said he they gonna throw a block, a block party for him in Brooklyn. When I saw that fool with them Ray Charles shades on, I knew he was lying. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea to wear them shades during the interview. We know you wasn't being sincere. You was high and you even had your hood on. You should have just put a whole you should have just put a whole bag over your head, my nigga. Like they had Nikki Barnes when he went to court. You should have just put a whole bag over your head. <laughs> you probably would have felt more comfortable and shit. Straight up, because you wasn't comfortable with that seat. But it's good to see you on black media. We want to see you on um, Doggy Diamonds next. Or we want to see you on Zip with the Drip. We want to... We want to see you on Zip with the Drip. I ain't got nothing to do with what Wack doing, Wack doing. He doing that shit to them niggas. He doing that shit to them niggas. He is not going to piggyback my content and not say my name. Like Queens Flip did last night. Interviewing Jermaine Champagne. I don't want to say, per I don't want to say these niggas names. You in my comments. Hey man, you in my comments. Don't act like you don't want to say my name, my nigga. I'm just being frank. Mac mean peace. Opioid era. Three bundle pack. Check it out. That's what's up. Shout out to the opioid. See, when you fuck with the dribble, you get big marketing push. Big marketing push. See that opioid marketing push? It's the dribble. Good morning. Make sure y'all follow me on IG. At I am Gully TV underscore. Go check out my video with Frio and shit. I couldn't really show y'all my handle because I had my jewelry on and shit. I could have... I could have. <laughs> you said times are still hectic. Get your dribble right. You feel me? The Frio track is dope. Make sure y'all go check Frio out. He all over here. He all over the channel. And should he be on the channel like three times? Upstate New York, Utica. Word. I got all the upstate New York heavyweights on the channel. Matter of fact, I'm going to make a playlist of just them. I ain't got the gummies. I got the sea moss. The gummies out of stock right now. Pee Wee, put the, uh, put the website in the, in the chat, please.
Share the video. Yeah. He said, Erie State of Mind. Nah. New York State of Mind. That's how I got here. He said, y'all worried about Maino Prison Beef from 92? Y'all bored as hell. Did nobody go looking for a uh, boxing bar? That's a... Uh, that's something he got going on with WAC 100 and shit. That's another situation with WAC 100 using New York niggas against New York niggas and shit. He's been able to get away with this. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop him. What y'all think? I'm just saying I know the owners of the property whack visited they police. I don't trust him. Make sure y'all be fucking with the webs I mean the website, the real dribble.com. He said Mano sounded crazy in that interview. He sounded non-confrontational. That's not your character. That's not how you got here. You just choked the motherfucker a couple weeks ago, man. You trying to act like you a likable person and shit. You don't know how to you don't know how to conduct yourself in society and shit, my nigga. Like, you a thief? You assault people? You do all the general crimes, all the general pet, petty, petty crimes and shit. Pilfering? Like, you did a fucking kidnapping or some shit back in the day. You just can't be trusted, my nigga. Like, you you like one of them niggas from um, Bebop and Rocksteady and shit from the cartoons back in the day. You just no good, my nigga. He said, Mano was a sociopath. He tried, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. You need to tell us what the fuck you was diagnosed with. We need, you need to tell us what you was diagnosed with. Let me tell you something, right? When you go to them prisons and them institutions, you go through uh, clinical testing and shit. They got to evaluate you and shit to see what type of jail to put, they put you in, what type of institution they put you in and shit. Tell us what you was diagnosed with. I know you're supposed to take medication. He one of them wild niggas, man. You can't tell me. I know that nigga was hell to pay when he was young. You can't tell me he wasn't supposed to be on Ritalin or some shit like that. He just resisted it. He just resisted it. He 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 wasn't with it and shit. But he definitely, you gotta understand, like, didn't y'all see how he choked that young nigga? When y'all, when he choked that white boy on MTV, I'm like, what the fuck was that about? Is this a skit? <laughs> he can't help it. He can't help it. He said, Brooklyn bipolar. Yeah, man. Post-traumatic, man. Been for, through juvenile systems and shit. Been in fucking Rikers Island, Spofford and shit. Was in situations where they cutting each other and shit. Could you imagine living like that? Could you imagine living like that for a long time and shit? You got to watch out these motherfuckers running around with razors and shit. What the fuck? I see why niggas be wanting to go to the box and stay. <laughs> It makes sense now. I got it. That's why you bad motherfuckers be in the box all the time. Cut motherfuckers through the slot and shit like that. Y'all be wanting to go to y'all be wanting to go to population. I get it. Niggas be maxing out and shit. I get it. I get it. That's a strategy. Probably get a single cell like that. I get it. He said, put me in the box. I'm about to get up out of here, man. Good morning to everybody. Make sure y'all go to the uh, website. Like, share, and comment. Um, TheRealDribble.com, man. That's where these PA nits at. And uh, Queens Flip, Jermaine. I respect your dribble, uh, Flip. Jermaine.
Get a new job, G. UPS is hiring. Peace.